Hello and welcome to the Karen Sector and welcome to the first video on Warhammer 40k 10th edition. So yes, uh, 10th edition is fast approaching uh, as a time of recording the release for the Leviathan box is this upcoming Saturday. Uh, I've got my copy to go down and pick up. With the first game coming up, I thought actually it might be interesting to go through one of the armies, certainly the army I'm playing first. And my aim for at least a short while is to use four armies just as I get used to it. Each one, so a Xenos, a Space Marine, a Chaos, and an Imperium army. Each one does something slightly different and we'll learn about the game and we'll learn about the army as we go along and add some new models and develop that. And then playing smaller games, we'll bring out some of the other armies and things. Uh, next video to follow this one should be, I'm gonna try a solo hammer of the Combat Patrol and pitch the Eldar versus the Drukhari, seeing as their rules were released uh, yesterday, day before yesterday at the time of recording. So that's the aim, is to get an idea of 10th myself. The first big game with Christian is Space Marines versus Tyranids, you know, with it being the, the box art and everything. So what do Death Watch do? Well, uh, there are three different options. Uh, I can get sustained hits, lethal hits, or precision hits for my, my weapons, and I can use these once per game, so three out of the five uh, games I can do this. Uh, I also have, as with all Adeptus Astartes, I do have Oath of Moment. So in the command phase, I point at a unit and say, I'm going to reroll all wounds uh, against, all hits and all wounds against that model. And we've already been nerfed as the Death Watch. I believe it's Hellfire Rounds, this, this stratagem here that you can choose one unit or two kill team units for a CP and everything gets uh, anti-infantry 2 plus. So it always wounds infantry on a 2 plus. They've tweaked the restriction on this one. You cannot use it on uh, weapons with devastating wounds because it was triggering on Terminators the assault cannon, strength six, AP dash one damage and just turning it straight into mortal wounds with off of moment re-rolling everything, it was 50-something mortal wounds that you could be outputting. Because uh, I think you take three assault cannons for a Terminator unit in Death Watch. So, yeah, that one's got nerfed, probably rightly so. So, yeah, I can change the rounds that my guys are shooting. I can put something into the teleporter at the end of my opponent's phase. I can pick it up and it can come back on. Armor of Contempt, I think most Marines have and adaptive tactics so I, I can pick one of these for that unit to be in that turn instead of one of these and then I get a few nice upgrades so I can point at two units for over moment once per game I can increase the the attacks and damage of weapons which is nice and uh well, they're, they're actually the two I've chosen for this army. So let's have a look at the armor itself. So obviously we're led by the Watchmaster and he has, um, he can attach to a unit of uh, either Death Watch veterans or to a unit of um, the Proteus kill team. Yes. And he has his, so ah, the unit he's attached to can advance and charge. And he has a once per battle. Uh, I can make my opponents, one of my, when my opponent uses a stratagem, I can make it for the rest of the game is worth plus one more CP. So that's going to be a, a fun little sting in the tail. So I've got my uh, 10 veterans. These guys have had some of their stats sort of uh, brought down. But the unit that's going with him, there are... Two storm shields and uh, what they call them vigil long weapon, a uh, vigil melee weapons, but it's just power swords. There's maulers and bolters, swords and bolters. There's the um, 
Frag Cannon, which now only has one profile. And the biggest change to this unit is the Frag Cannon. Not Frag Cannon, the uh, Infernus Heavy Bolter. Now you have to choose which profile you're firing. You can't fire both, which is a shame. And I'm led by a Xenophase Blade. And Sergeant can't take a Plasma Pistol. So he has got a Bolt Gun instead there. And then the two Thunder Hammers. So these are a bit of a mix. Uh, because these will come together and be uh, brought along with the uh, the Land Raider. So the uh, Land Raider here is uh, he's had some upgrades. Let's move these guys to the side. He's now uh, as twelve, and with them being close combat, they can get out of this and then charge. Which is quite nice. So they can get out at the end of the vehicles now. Can get out. You can get out of at the end of the movement, but you can't charge unless they have uh, what's it called? Ass assault ramp. Which so far this is the only vehicle I've seen with it. So it's got super duper las cannons, which are uh, higher strength. D six plus one to damage now, which is interesting. Uh, give it a ultimate, can kill a missile, a storm bolter, and it's got the twin heavy bolters on the front, which have uh, sustained hits. So that means I think if a hit roll of six happens, then I get one extra uh, hit out of that, which is quite nice, uh, especially if you're using it on an oath of moment target. So that's the uh, the first wave of assault. Uh, I have a second unit of. Uh, veterans um there's no shotgun anymore so he's just got a standard bolter and sword on the front and there's a another in fairness heavy bolter and then three bolt guns these guys can hold the backfield for me and uh let the, the rest of the army move up i then have my captain jump captain and he has a team of Vanguard Vets to run with him. Now, the Vanguard Vets have been neutered quite significantly, considering I've got three Thunder Hammers, well, two Thunder Hammers, a Death Watch Thunder Hammer, and two Power Fists. They're all just uh, relic weapons now. But the Captain himself, he, he has uh, his movement of 12, and he can... Um, Add one to strength on the charge. All right, so I can uh, he can on his unit he can use a stratagem for zero CP uh, once per battle round, which is nice. And yeah, he's got a uh, inferno pistol which he used to run, and his uh, thunder hammer. Well, obviously, with the uh, thief, thief of secrets, it's um, a strength nine thunder hammer three damage so that is quite tasty and then the uh like i said the vanguard vets are slightly neutered but they do get lethal hits uh, on the charge so theoretically the uh their heirloom weapons should have been damaged too really there's rumors that there could be some changes and updates so maybe they'll come into that um we'll see now in the teleporter, coming in from Deep Strike, I have the Death Watch Terminator squad. And these behave very much like normal Space Marine Terminators, except their squad can be varied. Sarge has the uh, Power Sword, or the uh, Vigil Melee Weapon. Oh no, it's just called a Power Weapon on these guys. And then there's the Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield, which gives him plus one wound. So he's got four wounds, which is quite nice. So maybe he can tank some stuff and uh, and so sort of maybe like a, if an auto cannon three damage auto cannon hits him, if one goes through, he's still on a wound. I still have a um, extra wounds, or I lose one model rather than two. But obviously his thunder hammer is quite tasty, so these guys should drop in a bit later on. Uh, the idea of making this army was to use as many um, of the specific units, uh, as few as the Space Marine units as possible, and uh, 
So we've got the Fett and Bike Squad to run around and cause some damage. Uh, they don't have a chainsaw, so they've just got uh, the um, individual melee weapons. And uh, they're, they have the, the turbo boost like they normally had. Drop Pod. Drop Pod has something interesting now. This model can now just transport Adeptus Astartes, not just. Oh, he doesn't, he's unlocked out of Primaris. Same with the Land Raider, but the Land Raider's in the other squad. So, these guys, I've gone for a Fortis kill team. So, there are four Bolters, two of the, what they call the Long Range Vigil Weapon, which has Long Vigil Range Weapon, anti Trophy 4 Plus, Devastating Wounds, and Rapid Fire 1. So that, uh, that the Stalker model, uh, models I've used will then obviously take that on instead. It's still AP Dash Strength 4, hitting on 4s. But, ooh, it doesn't have the heavy keyword, whereas the, the other bolters have the heavy and the assault. And then, 4 Plasma, because you can't take 5 Plasma anymore. So it's, that's one of the weird things. It's zero to four. But we'll run with it. That's why we've got the two long range ones. And so they'll go in the drop pod. And theoretically, they'll come peeling out of the sky, drop down close by to something with the oath of moment target, and just blast it with hell blaster plasma fire. And then maybe a couple of devastating wounds through. And uh, yeah. And depending on if I've used one of my things, I could have lethal hits, uh, sustained hits. So we could be in for an interesting time. And yeah, I guess if we... And then, of course, the overcharge rule has changed. So now if I roll a 1 to hit, it doesn't do anything. But each model that shoots in the hazardous profile, I roll a d6 afterwards on a 1... The unit suffers a mortal wound, and so theoretically, if I roll four ones, I'm only losing two models. But if it's a character or a vehicle, they lose three wounds. But we'll see how it goes. But as an ultimate of moment target, these guys could come in and do some serious damage. And then, my last unit, obviously, Corvus Blackstar because this is the iconic Death Watch. Blast Cannon's on the front. The Storm Spear Rocket Pods for much more damage. And yeah, this is the, the last watch. I do want a second one of these for the first watch. And again, this one has lost the No Carrying Primaris rule. So we have another Fortis kill team, led by uh, one with a chain sword, And then the Four Bolters, four Assault Intercessors, and then just one bike, because that actually comes up to the total of 12 models, and this can transport to 12, because that counts as three models, sadly. Um, so yes, this one doesn't have the uh, Assault, which is a shame, it probably should do, but if it does fly over a model, then it can do uh, Mortal Wounds, um, Raw 66, and then for every 5 plus, suffers a Mortal Wound. And I've also given it the Inferno Halo Launcher so it gets the smoke key keyword so I can use the smoke strat with it. And uh, last cannons as well. Again, more Oath of Moment possibilities. And also, with the new rules, it either has to start in hover or start in supersonic. And it can never change between the two. I think I'll probably start it in hover. So it only moves 20 inches. But 23-inch movement on turn one, yes, these guys can't charge, but if I can key them up for a turn two charge, so if I set up an over moment target turn one, blast it off the board, and set these guys up to do the assault on the oath of moment turn two target, and we'll see how that goes. So that's what I'm thinking about for the Death Watch so far. Obviously... There's more to come. I want a second um, Corvus Blackstar. I want some more drop pods. Do some more drop pod assault. And then 
the, the, the most immediate one is I have a heavy intercessor, intercessor squad from the Indomitable Kill Team. I already have the um, the Melters and the Aggressors and the Jump Pack ready to go. Because again, it's all 0-2, to 0-2, to 0-2, to which is a shame. But yes, that's the next plan for the, the Death Watch and get them some more toys to play with. And also I can run much more from the Space Marine Codex but for the first game. I think getting them more Death Watch toys probably going to be more fun. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching my first thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Force, whether it'll be if it's too higgledy piggledy, whether it'll be okay. Um, what would you have done? Uh, so yeah, and stay tuned. Like I say, we've got the first big game coming up very shortly, and then much more games of tenth coming as we go. Solar Hammer. Um, my next video like this will be the Thousand Suns, and I also have Magnus to paint up for the Thousand Suns as well. So please do like, subscribe. Follow along as we explore 10th, and we'll see you in the next video.